Hey folks, it's your main man, E, and I'm here with Odie. Odie's a great little Aussie mix, but he was going crazy being reactive to dogs and stuff. So one of the most important things if you have an Australian Shepherd is to learn how to have structured play with them. So we're playing with him here with this Durafoam ball that has a string on it. What a good boy, huh? Come on. Now, a lot of times people are playing fetch with the dog, but they're not using a toy that has a string on it. And although that's great, I mean, it's great to play with the dog. It can be limited because I can't play tug with a dog unless there's some sort of string attached. And this type of dog here, he's gonna wanna tug sometimes. Also, when I don't have a string on it, I can't move it like this near my body and show the dog that, you know, if you wanna chase stuff and you wanna have fun, there's a whole lot of fun that'll happen in here. And focusing towards me is a great idea. Ah, good boy. And when he brings it back, I can give him a reward of staying near me by moving it around like this. Good boy. You'll notice I can kind of hold it like this. Ha ah, good boy, if I want him to target that ball. Good job, buddy. Nice, oh, good boy. Believe it or not, guys, this is a game of fetch we're playing right here. What a good boy, huh? Oh, nice, huh? Oh, oh. Like this. Ha ah, ha, good boy. So, like I was saying, we use a ball with a string because I can have the dog chase towards me and have fun running around in this circle right around me. Ah, good boy. Nice, good boy. I can whip the toy around like this and make it move in an exciting way. Get him to come running towards me. Ah, good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy, bubby. Ah, nice. I'm going to get that toy. Give me that. Ha, ha, I got that. And then I can play tug with him too, guys. The long throws are fine, but the problem when you only do long throws is you have a dog that's getting very conditioned to chase things, you know, 30, 40 feet away from us instead of being conditioned to really focus on us and being a lot more concerned with what we're doing than what's happening 30 feet away from us. And I think that's part of what was happening with this guy. <sighs> nice. And look at how much more into the game he is now that he can tug. Ha <laughs> nice. Oh, that's fun, huh, buddy? Nice. Ah, oh, good boy. Nice, good boy. Ah, ha ha. So we do a little tug, we do a little fetch. Good boy, buddy. You got your toy. Nice, bud. Nice. Yeah, good boy. So important I encourage the dog to possess the toy and not destroy it, but just have it in their mouth. Give me that. Hey, give me that toy. That's going to create that dog that'll just have the toy on a walk, hold it in their mouth, be able to come over to you and offer you the toy. But if you don't want it, they're going to just sit there and hold the toy in their mouth. They're not going to be, you know, too frustrated if you don't throw it immediately. I do want to provide him the opportunity to get a good grip on this toy. So I'm holding it sideways like this so he can really grab it with his back teeth. I'm holding it. Uh, good boy. Oh, he won. Good boy. He's strong. A very tough dog here. Oh, he's tough. He's a good boy, huh? Yeah, you want to tug with me, huh? So I hold it like this. Ha ha. Oh, and then he could tug with his back teeth. Huh? Good boy. Nice. 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 Whoa. 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 Good little boy, good little man. And we'll do just a little bit of work for a second with him. Out, sit. Okay. <sighs> nice. Some of the other side effects you'll see when you don't play with a dog like this. Out, sit. Let's go, uh-uh, sit. Notice I have to hold the toy like this so it's bunched up and it's not moving at all. Let's go. Okay. 
One of the results you'll see from long throws is the dog will start to t stand 10 feet away from you or even further, kind of wanting to get closer to the ball. And so they start to develop this behavior of wanting to be 10 or 15 feet away from you because when they're close to you, all that's going to happen is you're going to throw the toy and they're going to go away from you. And so they drop the toy and they immediately start running away from you. When I have the toy like this, I can tell the dog, hey man, I know you want me to throw the toy. Follow me around. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Uh-uh. Good. 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 Sit. Get it. By moving it around me and sometimes giving it to the dog when they're close to me, the dog's not really sure. Am I going to throw it or is he going to jump up and get it from my hand? Ah, nice. Get it. Nice. Get it. Ah. Want to give him a chance to re-grip right there? Good boy. Ah, that's a good Muppet. I've seen a Muppet when I've seen a Muppet right there. Oh, who is that? Good boy. Oh, nice. He's happy, happy guy. Happy. So you get the toy here. <laughs> I just hold it still here. Out. Sit. Good. Let's go. Good. 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 Okay. <laughs> nice. That's also how I create that focus of look up at me. It's so much easier to tell the dog, look up at me. Out. Okay. Okay. Ah. Look up at me and you will jump up towards me to get the reward versus look up at me and then I'm going to throw the toy way over there. So think about the direction you throw the toy and the direction that the dog is getting the reward. It determines how the dog behaves. Out, sit, let's go. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Good, 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 good. Uh-uh, good, good, good. Okay, okay. Huh. Out. Let's go. Good. 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 Okay. And similarly, when I throw the toy behind me, the dog's going to naturally want to be behind me. But if I'm always throwing the toy in front of me, the dog is going to want to be in front of me. And this will translate to your walk. Out. Let's go. Like if you're always throwing it when the dog's in front of you, when you walk, the dog is just going to be thinking, why would I ever be behind this person? I want to be in front. I get him back behind me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get that toy. You didn't see it. <laughs> Out. I get him behind me. Good. 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 Okay. <laughs> he missed it. Whoa. And that's the end of the game, folks, because this thing might have fallen in a poop. So kind of rinse this thing off but I don't want to end the game without giving him his toy back to be honest that would be a big party foul he did so good if I was to take the toy right here it would maybe frustrate him good boy oh good Muppet now we're going to cool down with him uh uh we're all done we're all done you did good. We're all done. All done. All done. All done. Yeah. Uh-uh. All done. No. All done. No. So I don't want to tickle him. That tickling I was doing is getting him excited. I'm just sitting here. We're all done, dude. It's very common that even petting the dog will get him too excited. So just sit here. We're all done. Good job, buddy. Good job. All done. And then we're going to leave the play area now. And we'll just have some downtime to settle after this play session. Okay. We're all done. Let's go. <laughs>